and welcome back to another video. Today we are trying out a variety of snacks sourced from 12 different prefectures throughout Japan. Before we get started, thank you so much to Boksu for sponsoring today's video. If you didn't know already, they are a subscription service. They deliver premium and authentic Japanese snacks to your doorstep. Every month, they feature a specific theme. Uh, this month, they are featuring Prefecture Passion. This is what we are going to be trying out with you guys today. The holiday season is right around the corner. And we think Boksu makes the perfect gift for anyone in your life who appreciates Japanese snacks and culture. I'm sure they will appreciate it, especially now since the borders are closed. But here's the big news. Not only would you be gifting them a Boksu subscription, but you'll also be giving them a chance to win free tickets to Japan. They will be picking five lucky winners to win a free set of tickets and anyone who is subscribed before December 31st is automatically entered. So use the code and link to become eligible to win the giveaway by subscribing to Boksu. The code will get you 10% off your subscription. So don't miss out on this unique opportunity available for anyone who subscribes by December 31st. Do you know how many prefectures in Japan? Let me take it. Ah, uh, hmm, 48? Ah, uh, very close. 47. 47. Ah, 47. <laughs> I knew it was like 40 something somewhere around there. They offered 12 prefectures stuff. Mm. I'm very, very looking forward to try 12 or 13 stuff, yeah, including tea. That's right, right. That's right. 12 snacks and one tea. Okay, as always, we're going to be starting off with the tea, which they always include in their box so you can. Uh, enjoy some of your drink along with your snacks. Uh, today's tea is called Ujisencha and this is from Kanagawa Prefecture. Uh, so I guess the company is based there, but the tea leaves are from Uji, I think Kyoto. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's confusing, but uh, Uji Kyoto makes some of the best uh, green teas here in Japan. So we're gonna let this brew for two to three minutes and while that's happening, let's start off with our first snack. Okay. Kisarazu Blueberry Gumi. Ah. Kisarazu is located in Chiba Prefecture. Oh, I see. Have we ever been to Kisarazu before? Yes. We have. Mm -hmm. Do you know the, the Aka Line? Yep. Mm -hmm. The Aka Line goes through to Kisarazu City. Okay. Have we ever been to Kisarazu City? I mean, have we gone out to explore or do we just pass by? We went to outlet. We went to the outlet. Ah, Kisarazu outlet. Now I remember. So this product is from Tokyo, but Kisarazu is located in Chiba Prefecture. Uh -huh. Kisarazu, they grow blueberry more than 30 years. Oh, I didn't know that. Now I feel like eating blueberries. I want to go blueberry picking. They smell amazing. They smell. Mm -hmm. They actually smell like mm -hmm. um, real blueberries. To be honest with you. Blue, blue, blue. Hmm. Yep. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mm. I really like the natural flavor of this. But then that's pretty much with um, all gummy candy in Japan. I think, I mean, so far I haven't met a gummy candy in Japan that I didn't like because they usually use real fruit juice. Mm. This one is a collaboration with JME Sellers and Kaneka, Kaneka Food Company. Okay. So, collaboration with the Agriculture Association. I never heard of a candy that is a collaboration between agriculture company and a candy making company. So I think our tea is ready. I decided to use uh, my, my favorite uh, tea cups for these tastings. How is it? Oh, it's nice. It has a mm. little bit of sweetness. Mm. Is, it, is it umami? A little bit of umami. Mm. Yeah, a hint of sweetness, mm. but mm. also very earthy and grassy at the same time. Very well balanced tea, mm. I think. So next one is Yuzu Souffle from Kanagawa Prefecture. Kanagawa, same okay. as tea. Same as tea. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. This one is a combination of yuzu and butter. Oh, I love that combo. And uh, this is from a company called Gato du Voyage. I actually have heard of that company. They're they're quite famous, I think. Yeah, Gato du Voyage. How's my French uh, pronunciation, guys? <laughs> I think so. I hope so. Souffle in French means to puff up 
and as you can see, it's very light and airy and fluffy. Mm, I like this kind of cake. Mm, you can smell oh. both the butter and the yuzu. Mm. 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 Yuzu, by the way, is like a Japanese citrus fruit. It's delicious. Mm. 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 Oh, it's good you balance of both. both. Yuzu and butter. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And I think there's like little bits of yuzu inside. Candy yuzu. Oh, that's right. Mm. 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 Delicious. Next one is Shinshu no Koibito. Uh, this is made by Taka Chiho and this is from Nagano Prefecture. Shinshu this... means Nagano Prefecture. But does it? Mm -hmm. And Shinshu no Koibito mm. means apple, I think. Apple? Shinshu, uh, Nagano's specialty is apple. One of the specialty is apple. Okay. Koibito means like lover. Lover. Right? So Shinshu's lover. Is an apple. Apple. I guess that's what they're trying to say. And no, it looks like a wafer on the outside. No? I, monaka. Monaka, yeah. Mmm. 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 Very delicate taste. Mmm. Delicate flavor. Mmm. It just puts me in that fall mood. Mmm. The mm. apples. Mm. It's like caramelized apple to me. That's right. Mm. Yeah, like mm. caramel apple. And the texture is really interesting to me because the outside is like a traditional Japanese monaka. Mm -hmm. Very light, but the inside is like a caramelized apple mm -hmm. thing. Or a candied apple. My candied apple. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, it's like east meets west. Mm -hmm. Next one is dried pasimin mochi. <laughs> dried pasimin, we call it hoshigaki. Love hoshigaki. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Autumn season to winter season, mm. uh, hoshigaki is. Hoshi, uh, we made hoshigaki, dried pasimin, in the cold air, cold wind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my mom tried making hoshigaki in Hawaii. Oh, really? It got moldy. It's yeah. too hot. It's too hot. Yeah, my mm. mom loves hoshigaki. Mm -hmm. hey. This one is easy to eat. Yeah, well, it's mochi. <laughs> mochi. Mm. Squishy. Subtle, mm. not very sweet, but but center mm. at the center. Mm, there we go. I can taste pasimi. Me too. Mm. Me too. I mm. love hoshigaki, but I love fresh persimmons too. Me you too. guys all know that, right? Mm. Just started mm. uh, pasimin season. Yep. There are so many pasimins at the supermarket. Mm. I forgot to buy a persimmon today. I have to have one persimmon every day throughout the, the season, because the season is short. Next, we are traveling up to Hokkaido, and the next one is Black Sesame Soft Candy made by Romance Seika. This incorporates Hokkaido's famous milk into oh, these chewy gee. candies, yes. Oh, soft. Mm, 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 mm. It's like, it's like caramel. Mm, mm. That's right. But, oh, wow, the, the Black Sesame, um, sesame flavor, flavor mm. is very, very Most prominent. The flavor. Mm. 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 Mmm, they're also milky. It's like drinking a black sesame latte. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like this goma, uh, sesame seeds flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Hard to talk though with the candy in your mouth. They're very chewy. Mm -hmm. So next one is the Mask Melon Busse from Shizuoka Prefecture. Okay. I like this type of cake. Mm -hmm. yeah. The sandwich type, the cream inside, uh, between this, what should I say, cake. Yeah, very, very light and fluffy cake. Mm, it looks uh, like dryaki. Yeah, and this is a classic exclusive. Uh, so this is something that you can probably only find here at Boksu. That's another reason why we like Boksu. A lot of things we, we cannot find at the regular supermarket. Mm. Wow, melon! Flavor is mm. so strong. Mm -hmm. It's so confusing because it it's just like melon, but then when you bite into it, it's a soft and pillowy cake. It's like a melon shaped ice. Not <laughs> melon shaped ice. For me, it's like melon sherbet. Mm -hmm. You know, from a long mm -hmm. time ago. Very mm -hmm. nostalgia tasting. Mm -hmm. mm. And um, I'm reading their their culture guide again. It says um, 
the reason why it tastes so much like real melon is because they actually use real cantaloupe juice wow. inside the cream. Wow! Wow! Mm. 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 <laughs> By the way, melon is a very expensive fruit in Japan. Yes, it is, but not as expensive as mangoes. Mangoes are even more expensive. Okay, next up is another classic exclusive. This is Hunwari Meiji Mochi Puffs. Goma Dare Mochi. Goma Dare Mochi. Hi, Goma Dare Mochi. That's the flavor of this one. Uh, it tastes like the sweet black sesame sauce you pour on mochi. Mm. Mm. Just melts in your mouth, you know, mm. it kind of disappears. Oh, it's, a mm. it's just so good. The outside? Sesame powder. Uh, sesame powder. Uh, this one is coated with sesame powder mm. outside. Mm. And inside, a little sweet, mm. sweet mochi flavor. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. But also a little bit salty as well. Nice, like, yeah. blend of a little bit of salty, yeah. sweet, yeah. light, cloud like mm. texture. Mm. Super delicious mm. um, black sesame flavor as well. So next one is Matcha Azuki Crunch from Kyoto. Kyoto! Finally, I want to go to Kyoto. Kyoto. Yes. Kyoto tea. We already mentioned Kyoto tea is very popular, very tasty. Mm -hmm. Kyoto, Uji is a part of Kyoto. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've actually been there before. Um, but I do have to say, I mean, I mean Japanese tea from other parts of the country um, are also good. It's just Uji is very, very famous. Uh, well, Kyoto tea is very famous. So I think you'll like this one. You like these types of snacks, huh? These crunchy type of snacks. Mm. Mm. Is that cool? Like a rice crispy snack. Mm. Is this puffed rice? Puffed rice? Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Endless mm. snack. Oh, yeah. Endless snack. Mm. Mm. But, but this one, uh, because I don't love love like the ones that they sell at the supermarket, this one it's like a level level above like supermarket quality. It's not just puff rice, but I also taste sesame seeds. Um, what else is in there? The, the red, the azuki red beans, mm. and it also tastes the tea, the very strong earthy mm. tea flavor. Mm. Mm. So every flavor mm. is well mixed. So delicious. I didn't realize there is an azuki. I didn't realize it is tea. Mm. All flavors are mixed, well mixed, and go to another level. Yeah, you know, I always feel like I enjoy these taste tests too much. I'm starting to get excited because the pairing of this mm. tea thing and the tea is delicious. Okay, I can't talk anymore. Next one. Beni Imo Pie from Hiroshima Prefecture. Oh, Hiroshima! Purple Yam Pie from Hiroshima. I thought it was going to be Okinawa. It's Hiroshima? Ah, it is! Um, it's a Hiroshima based maker, Hanamaru Creation, and mm. they are using Beni Imo or Purple Yam from Okinawa. I see. Mm. <laughs> nice. Definitely reminds me of Okinawa. Mm. It smells buttery. <sighs> buttery, buttery smell. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. It's like a pie. Very, very flaky and buttery on the outside. I like this butter. Flavor. Mm. Mm. It's blended with Beni Imo, the purple yam paste. Mm -hmm. So nicely. They actually have um, a purple yam pie in Okinawa, mm -hmm. and um, it tastes just like that actually. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. So the next one is Mike Popcorn Yuzu flavor. Yuzu Kosho flavor. Yuzu kosho, sorry. It's Yuzu Kosho, which is Yuzu pepper. Um, it's a condiment that we use for. Uh, uh, to eat food here. Usually I use it for nabe though, hot pot. Yeah, uh, but um, yeah, it, it's nice. Uh, it's uh, basically yuzu peel. Uh, it's added to chili peppers and salt, and then it's aged a little bit. And this one mm. comes from Ibaraki Prefecture. Ibaraki. Mm -hmm. And they're using yuzu from Kyushu. Yeah. Interesting. Collaborating all over Japan. Yeah, they're all kind of like collaborating with each other, <laughs> all the different prefectures. As soon as you open the package, it smells like wow. yuzu kosho. Yeah. I've never smelled, smelled such aroma of popcorn. popcorn. I know. <laughs> I mean, this might sell well at uh, the Tokyo Disney Resort, you know. Ah, they have all the different flavor ah. uh, popcorn. Oh, oh, oh. This mm. might be my my 
favorite flavor from Mike Popcorn. Usually it's just like normal salt or maybe cheese. I've never had like um I I didn't know that they make sophisticated flavors like these. I want Tokyo Disney Resort to sell. Mm. Um this flavor after black pepper popcorn. The black yeah, because the black pepper popcorn is I mean it's just black pepper. Tasty, but it's black pepper. It's black pepper. This is way better than mm. that. Yeah. Mm. I mean the Tokyo Disney Resorts they also have curry, mm. which is okay. Um, they have um, the garlic shrimp, mm. which is actually pretty good too. Mm -hmm. But I think like, this one like is they, really they, they should include using mm. pepper, that would be good. Mm. So next Karito Jaga. Mm. Kare fumi, curry flavor from Osaka. Osaka. Well, mm. Osaka people do love curry. Well, actually, Japanese people all love curry. But Osaka um, is, has a lot of famous uh, curry shops. Mm. Curry potato. Mm. Mm. Hello. Mm. Yeah, it's super flavorful. Kare fumi. Kare so many different is. spices. Mm. Mm. I can taste like cumin. Mmm, that's delicious. Mm. Mm. This would go great with beer, I think. This I think was an unstoppable flavor. Yeah, I think these would pair um, well with beer more than tea. Uh, that's my opinion. That's right. Alright, we only got one last one. Oh, last this, one. this taste test went by so quickly. So this one is Yuzu Salt Koji Arare Rice Crackers mm. made by Mori Haku Seika. Oh, this is from Gifu Prefecture. Gifu. Mm. Gifu Prefecture. I don't know if I've ever been there. Um, I think you have been there. I have. Really? I just don't remember. I think so. Mm. Okay, so this is another one that uses yuzu, but this, this also combines uh, shio koji. Uh, koji is uh, like a fermented rice, so it has a lot of umami. So, shio koji arare. Yeah, mm. shio koji yuzu arare. Oh. Mm. Mm. The yuzu flavor is so good. Mm. 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 So refreshing. I so found fresh. I found. Mm. I found koji umami. Mm. Mm. You're right. Not only salty. Yeah. Salty. Yeah. Mm. I I like to use koji in cooking, but I I think it's the first time I'm having a snack flavored with koji. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's delicious. It's quite interesting. Alright, so we have unfortunately come to the end. It's always a little bit sad when we come to the end of a boksu taste test, you know? But, what were your favorites? This time, mm. I choose Yuzu Goshiro Popcorn. <laughs> That's amazing! You don't really I love don't choose popcorn, popcorn, but I love Yuzu Goshiro Flavor. It's and this one, mm, it's flavor sensation. It is, isn't it? <laughs> ne, oishi yo ne. Like I, I want this at the movie theater instead of just butter. Hmm. Well, that's interesting because see, uh, my favorite. Um, I, I like the popcorn too, but my favorite is something I don't normally choose. It's the matcha azuki crunch. The matcha azuki crunch from Kyoto. Uh, I usually don't don't choose uh, this type of. Uh, uh, snacks, but I, I like the complexity of this one, and I also like this one, the the puffy one. Mm -hmm. This this month especially, every month they have these uh, puffy uh, snacks. You know, kinako flavor, maple flavor, but this month's one, I think it's one of my favorites. So we really hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. Uh, were there any favorites in this box? Let us know in the comments down below. And once again, if you are interested in trying Boksu out, make sure to use our code so you can get a 10% discount on your own Japanese subscription box. Thank you for watching. See you on next Deshas video. Bye-bye! Bye-bye!